And we settled down, sitting on the on the lounge. And the waiter come. So <laughs> we ordered a drink. We brought those two drinks each. Cold water. And we sipped away at that. Organised ourselves. I'd hung my beach dress up under the umbrella. We laid down. We heard this noise. <sighs> I don't know. I think I thought firecrackers or some fireworks. But we both looked up, stood up, I think. Who's this man there in black? Several rows of sun loungers away. He just stood there with his huge gun, <laughs> moving around all the people, shooting them. <laughs> you can't run. You're an open target running. You're shooting anyone on the feet, as well as people lying on sun loungers. He was just killing them. So, we both, same time, play dead. We fell, we just fell to the ground, faces in the sand. All the shooting continued. It just kept on shooting. We felt it, we, it was coming nearer and nearer. Then his feet were at the side of me. You don't move then. Because you're next. I just pray to God. Then there was this noise, this oh, heavy clicking noise. But of course, into the sand fell part, I can only say part of the gun, but it, a magazine. And the sand skitted up. And you still gotta be, you still gotta pretend you're dead. You got to. And then, click again. And he put more, more bullets in, new magazine in. And then there was a noise. I don't know what noise, just a noise. I could feel he moved and the shooting started again. He still played dead until I heard the noise move, the, the gun, the gun was getting a little bit further then somehow you know it's moved enough away I think then because I couldn't see I wasn't looking it moved up off the beach I think towards the the, because we have been been this front ahead now and we we knew if we were going to stay alive, we had to look then, and we couldn't see him. And the noise was up towards the hotel. Everyone around us was dead, except for one woman who helped me. Helped me.